What's up, game there, guys? Brian, the Three Topics Gamer here, bringing another episode of the People's Questions, where I answer some of the questions that have been sent to me over the past week. Uh, this time, we got a significantly shorter episode, uh, shorter episode, because this time I really only came across two questions that I thought were okay for the for, for a video. Uh, the rest were just either someone already answered them or they in fact did something that just put me in a really really bad mood and I just want to put this out there moving forward uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys if you post in your questions I would really really appreciate it if you just did not talk about the MCU or anyone in the MCU or just anything MCU in general I was I had a number of questions that or just asking me questions like, well, what if you put this character in the MCU? What if you put this character against this character? And I'm just going to get this out here. I'm really sick and tired of the MCU. Um, I'm nearly at that point where just the, just the three letters put me in a really bad fucking mood. I, I mean, it, it's, it's almost at like that level of if someone mentions... The Last of Us, DMC, or Final Damnation 13. Just when someone puts it in the comment section, it puts me in a really, really pissed off mood. I'm just sick and tired of it. This shit is not going away. I've already done my ranking video giving my thoughts on how I feel about the MCU as a whole. If you happen to be a fan of it, or if you like it, or if you think it's the greatest thing ever, that's perfectly fine, but just keep that in my comment section and just keep it away from me. I don't, I want nothing to do with it moving forward. Um, I'm not saying I would go as far as to start deleting them in the comment section, but that's just where I'm almost getting. I just don't want to talk about it. it just puts me in a really, really bad mood. Um, and yeah, going back to the, the questions, uh, I only found two uh, that I think are okay. So, I'll uh, dive into them. Uh, and the first one comes from Silver Fox. And you want to know, out of all of the DMC boss fights that have been, which three are the best? Uh, let's see, I, I guess the three that stand out to me are, I guess, the Cerberus fight and Devil May Cry 3. The Beowulf fight in Devil May Cry 3, and... Uh, that uh, twin fight where you gotta, f in Devil May Cry 3, you gotta fight those two twin things with the, with the swords. Uh, I guess those three kind of stand out to me the most, so I, I guess I picked those three. And uh, last question of the episode comes from All Star Gamer Punk, and you want to know, what do I think when franchises such as Devil May Cry become multi-platforms. It used to annoy me, um, but as someone who values PlayStation at the most, um, I could understand it. Like, I, I guess if enough time has passed, I won't be as upset if they were re-release the game on other consoles. Um, because even if, you know, something that was originally exclusive and then they release on multi-platforms, you know, even though that annoys me, the thing I like about Sony is that they're always creating new exclusive IPs. So when one becomes multi-platform, we're going to get another one that's going to be exclusive on Sony. And, that, and Sony's the only one that does that. Nintendo doesn't do that, and Microsoft damn sure just doesn't do that. So... It doesn't really bother me that much. As long as there's, there's enough time has passed. I mean, but there, I know that there are certain certain games that I'm fairly certain will never be released on other platforms. So those ones I'm okay with. So like franchises like Metal Gear, you know, it was a, it, it used to be exclusive to PlayStation at a time for a little while. And then they released it on Xbox. But at that point, like no one was playing it on Xbox as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Final Fantasy, you know. It was inevitable, but, you know, I think enough time has passed, so it doesn't bother me that much. So, yeah, uh, you know, as, as long as we're getting new IPs that are exclusive to the consoles, I, I, think, I think I'll be fine moving forward. And I think that will do it for this particular episode of The People's Questions. I'm sorry that's a little bit short, and, you know, hopefully with the next episode I'll get a little bit more better questions. Hopefully I'll be in a much better mood. 
and you know if again if you want to increase your sorry fan just turn on you want to increase your odds of getting the video uh, your question in the video just make sure it's interesting has some depth or is a very very really awesome question to answer and I'll be sure to make sure you get into the video and like always I want to thank you know hopefully everyone that sees this video and I'll be sure to catch you next time so until then I'll see you